Final observation. Uh, well, look, at the risk of further empurpling peers, I'm just going to return briefly to the NDIS. Um, I just think the events of the last few days have really confirmed Jenny Macklin as the kind of silent powerhouse in this government. I think that her policy work and her strategy and her influence have rescued a lot of situations for the government, um, including the pokies situation. I think she is um, has a massive budget, which seems to get bigger and bigger every budget. She's under the radar, but she is a great source of strength. Well, it's nice to see all these unfunded things going ahead, Annabelle. But um, I, I was uh, fascinated with a decision uh, last week where a, a, a Queensland commissioner inquiring into child abuse has managed to disappear the government uh, arms uh, and uh, departments and he's restricted the legal definition of government to Premier and Cabinet to avoid investigation. Well, it's At the time at the commencement of the London Games, appropriate to remember the murder of 11 Israeli athletes 40 years ago in Munich. Uh, even if the IOC doesn't want to do it. And last Thursday, Julie Gillard announced that Australia would be giving half a million dollars to the Auschwitz-Birkenau site, uh, the site of the Nazi death camp in Poland. Uh, it was a good decision and the timing was excellent. And Harry Jenkins, of course, uh, announced with a bit of style this week um, mm. that, that he uh, will not be contesting the next election. Yes, the formal martyrdom of St Harry is now <laughs> complete. This is a man who's... Um, uh, given up quite a bit in the last few years, including um, the speakership for Peter Slipper, which has been a, uh, quick, not yeah. an unalloyed success. I think, I think the great remark was uh, his departure was at a time of his choosing. <laughs> and with that, Harry Jenkins will take us out. Thanks for watching. Bye.